Hi there. I am um, trying to get this installation a bit good. It's my phone that I'm filming on and I'm very sorry if I'm not looking to the camera. Anyway. You know, I, I'm noticing that when I'm moving, that then is the best way for me to talk. <laughs> so I'm moving in the car right now, as you can see. So, hi, welcome to the Projector Progress. Thank you for watching. They're like, they, I started this, like this name of the Project of Progress came through already so many months ago and I never, I never really did anything with it in that time of that moment. I only, yeah, made some things with the name, but I never really recorded things as I didn't feel yet it was the time and I'm really learning to not force things I do not want to force things I want them to be organic and that they really come out of me without me having to push things I'm trying to force it so now I feel more and more that I want to share and I also feel that it has to do with a certain integration and a certain time. I mean, things take time, you know? And we want things so quick, but things just take time. I mean, look at nature, look at how nature takes also its time. You're not gonna say to a flower that you, that you just planted, like, grow quick now, you know? No, it takes time before it becomes the flower. And yeah, just that example of nature really gave me also, I gave myself permission to take it slow and trust that things will come when I feel that. So yeah, here we are. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure how things are going to be. It will go as it goes. Um, a little introduction about myself. Um, I am, well, my name is Lisa Jane. Hi. <laughs> um, I am 30 years old. I just turned 30 last month. And I am from the Netherlands. I live in the Netherlands, in uh, Zoetermeer, The Hague, for the people that know. Um, I am half Dutch and half English. Um, I I always say when I when I say myself in three words, I say I am lively, I am open-minded, and I am curious. But actually, I would say in Dutch we have this word eigenwijs which actually means like being a little bit stubborn but in Dutch it has a really uh, beautiful it is a really beautiful own word created from the words own wisdom so it's like own wis eigenwijs that's weird yeah so that's why I really like that word because I really trust in my own wisdom and I'm doing that more and more, I must say. Yes. And, well, obviously I am a projector, emotional projector, 6'2", profile 6'2". Um, I have two centers defined. These are my only two centers defined, the solar plexus and the root center. They are connected with my only defined channel, the emoting channel, the 3955. I have personal perspective, guilt motivation, um, single definition, obviously, and individual circuitry with this only defined channel. Um, 
I started my experiment, I think it's now nearly two years ago. It's definitely been two years since I am in human design. Definitely been two years. But I remember the first half year, the first six, six months that I was in human design, I was reading a lot, you know, like pumping my head, my open head with all this information, a lot of information. I just wanted to know more, you know. And then I, uh, I had all the apps, I was following all the accounts. Um, and then every time I was looking at the accounts, and then every time you have these nice Instagram posts and they say something about your type, and then every time you get this dopamine hit of, yes, that's me, you know. But then, but then what? So you have all this information, all this knowledge, and every time you get a dopamine shot of, oh yeah, I really recognize that, that's me. But then what? What do you then do? And it was just six months in and I really decided I am going to live now by my design. I'm going to follow strategy and authority and I will see where it takes me. So that's what I did. Because this is it, right? When we come into design, we really want to dive into all the gates. We want to dive into all the channels, all the numbers. We want to know it all. But it really comes down, and this is what Ra says, this is what Ra teaches. It comes down to following strategy and authority. That's it. And that's what I did. I made that commitment to myself. I'm gonna follow strategy and authority because Ra also says, don't believe me, go see for yourself. And I love that he says this because this is what Buddha also says um, in Buddhism. So yeah, strategy and authority as a projector. My authority is emotional authority. My strategy is waiting for the invitation. So I quickly already decided and I knew, okay, my strategy has to wait like literally because i have to wait for the invitation i am in that way t i'm time dependent like there's time there's time needed the sacral being the the, 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 ge the pure generator the sacral authority can immediately like uh, i mean sorry the strategy of uh, to respond is immediately something you can do but the strategy for the projector, it takes time. It does take time. So I said to myself, okay, I'm not gonna focus on that. First authority, well, emotional authority. Then all the things you read about your emotional authority. Um, yeah, then they're said, okay, wait until you make the decision because you go through the wave wait for emotional clarity mm, what else does it say well yeah these are the most two basic things about the emotional authority that you read when you look things up uh, and you make decisions based on how you feel on, on your emotions right well <laughs> the first thing in this whole process is getting to know my emotions getting to know my emotions so if you want to live by your authority you have to know how your wave is going how do you feel from a day-to-day -day basis how do you feel from moment to moment getting to know your emotions getting to know how you feel and getting to know your wave this is has been for me my number one thing that I have been focusing on and this takes also a while this takes time because what I really noticed in this whole process is just a simple question of how do I feel or if someone asked me how do you feel that's a difficult question to answer because I've also noticed that within within going in the wave or feeling the wave experiencing the wave and I know this now there's not so much clarity in the moment and there's also no truth in the moment which I found such an interesting thing because 
I've been traveling for one and a half years and whilst I was traveling I really 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 deeply felt that the only thing that counts is now like now is the only thing that counts and then you have there's no um, there's no certainty in it now like no is it the certainty I, what did I just say Truth, sorry, truth. There's no truth in the now. So I was, I, I can't just, my mind can't grasp this, this thing of the only thing that counts is now. And there is no truth in the now. That's crazy. Sorry that you guys are shaking. I have a very old car. So my car shakes sometimes. Anyway, this, this, this is, I can just like bathe in this. There's no truth in the now and the only thing that counts is now. And then, then, for me, what it did is like, it takes off all this pressure and the things that we think that are important they're not so important
I am always changing and that is what is healthy for me and that is what I'm here to do. That is my life's work. And I'm a projector, so here we are, the project progress. Um, finally giving it a go. Yeah, I'm excited. And well, this is it. And yeah, make sure that you subscribe. Subscribe, leave a comment, send me a DM if you want to be private, chat privately. And I have a lot to share with you guys. I have a lot to share, so there's more coming. Wishing you a beautiful day and